Wood. We all love wood. This tree loved wood so much that it decided to make itself out of wood. Just the other day I came out to touch grass for the first time, but alas, it was wood. So I was thinking, we've done keyboards with wooden cases on this channel. Heck, I even made a wooden case myself. But what about the keycaps? See, I always wanted to make a keyboard which had the look of pure wood. But for some reason, wooden keycaps are really expensive. $599 for wooden keycaps! Do you know what you can do with $599? I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. But, one day while I was scrolling through keyboard parts, I actually stumbled upon a keycap set which wasn't $500. And then I thought to myself, you know, that might make a pretty good video. No, it would. Wait, who are you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm Ligma. And what are you doing in my brain? Ligma balls. What? The hell? Mm. And so I bought it. One quick shipment later, and here are the wooden keycaps. They are actually made from pure wood, which is not really shocking, but the keycaps were made by carving into a piece of wood and using resin as the bottom stem. I wonder how they'll sound like, since wooden cases tend to produce huge stocks due to their density and mass. Oh yeah, and also these keycaps only cost $140. So I am going to be building this keyboard in this video. Here are the parts list, you can build it yourself. Everything else is linked in the description below too, if you want to buy them. Originally, I was going to make the plate out of pure wood as well, but that proved to be a bit way too much for my carpentry skills. So I said screw it and we're using the polycarbonate plate instead. Would've been cool though. So to start every build, we need a PCB. This is a KBD Fence DZ60 RGB. I tape modded mine before the video. After which we get our stabilizers, which I also modded before the video. They were looped and band-aid modded. Nothing too special. And now for the case. Oh boy, the case. So I bought this case thinking it was going to be a pretty premium case and oh god. This thing looked like it was made in the backyard of my house and not in a good way. The cuts in the case looked like they were done by a circular saw and it went too fast that it caught on fire. And to top it all off, they didn't even give the rubber feet. Nice. It's fine, you know, this keyboard will still sound good, right? I use normal key creams for the switches. They have been broken in so they are not fully scratchy. And they are also looped with Crytox 205 grade 0. I slowly inserted them into the plate and then into the case. And after which, we move on to the keycaps. The keycaps look really good, so I'm gonna take my time with them and not rush through any of the keycaps. And we're done! So yeah guys, this is the final product. I think it looks really aesthetic and I can see it fitting into some minimalist setups. It also for some reason smells good. I mean, there's been a bunch of ants crawling around on it ever since we started filming. There's an ant on the keyboard. <laughs> there's an ant on the okay, keyboard. Okay, okay, okay. And how it sounds... It sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to subscribe, it is free. I'm just kidding, it is not. It's probably gonna cost you a few brain cells and your IQ, if you had any. Also check out the Germany vlog I filmed a few days ago. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like this video if you liked it. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video where we will be building a keyboard in your mom.